come in. <laughs> you know, I tend to avoid anything that has the word health in it for breakfast. Uh-huh. Yeah, and lunch. And dinner. Yeah. <laughs> well, this. <laughs> Well, it certainly seems to pump up the ego, the health shake, but can you blend a couple donuts in it? Hello? Yeah, sure, hold. Oh. Lennox. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm no Encyclopedia Brown. Uh, well, it's like Wikipedia, but with facts. Anyway, it, it well, it looks, it looks like, uh, you know, you slept with Aiden. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, what a relief. Then I do, I do. It, you know, it's just, it's a relief to not walk in on you having sex. You know, sex is normal for young people to have, provided, like I always say, it's with someone you love, a special guy who treats you this informative conversation like a thousand times. Well, and as I've said a thousand times, there's nothing inherently wrong with having sex. It's just, it's not something that should be taken lightly. You know, it should be a, a special, meaningful experience, an experience upon which all your future relationships will be based, a foundation, as it were. <laughs> Thanks, Aunt Mel, you're the best. <laughs> oh, sweetie. Anytime. Hey. I just had the strangest feeling of Deja Joe. Did you already go for a run this morning? A church. <laughs> Just like baby Superman. Or from... Or reach up from out of a toilet. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going for fear. And anyway, Lennox told me she and Aiden didn't do anything. No sex at all. Nada. Ninguno sexo. I'm gonna believe that. Because, um... I mean, Lennox and I had an open, honest discussion. You know, I told her that sex is a normal, healthy part of life. <laughs> See, and that there is why we didn't include you in the discussion. Joe, uh, listen, ML, I'm really glad we had that talk. You were so understanding. He means well. Well, not really, but he lives here, and what are we gonna do? Excellent. Mm hmm I think he's special, and he treats me right. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for a ride. Okay, so check it, all right, pals? Right. Yet. Uh, Lennox told me she is gonna have sex with Aiden this weekend. That's good. <laughs> well, I told her sex is something special, meaningful, that should be done with someone you love. Damn, she used my own coolness against me. And I remember my first time. It was awful. I was 16, wasn't the right guy, it wasn't the right place, and it wasn't for the right reason. <laughs> I looked 16. Oh, my God. <laughs> you, just... There is no stopping this. Somebody's got to be your first. You know, Aiden's sweet. He's president of the student council. He's an excellent soccer player. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying, you know, at least it's someone like Aiden instead of some guy named Todd who installs car speakers, what? for example. <laughs> the point is, we're lucky. Yeah, well, it's happening this weekend, so you better make your peace with it.